Everyone, it's Father Sean for another episode of the Couch Chat. Happy to be here on this 3rd of July. And you might be noticing, normally, Father Sean, when you're doing these Couch Chats, you've, uh, you've got a cup of coffee in your hand. And sometimes in your coffee mug, there's water instead of coffee. But today, you might notice, it's a nice cold glass of beer. And I know what you're probably thinking, man, is he giving up? Is he day drinking? Like what in the world is going on here? And, you know, I think there's a cause for celebration today. So as we're in July now, that means the merger has officially taken place. And if you remember, the origin of the couch chat was to communicate everything that's going on in the parishes especially related to parish merger and, and all the different things of kind of the families of parishes, the beacons of light, all of that. And in some ways we've, we've reached the place we set out to go. And I think that's a cause for celebration. So, you know, in some ways this is a toast to all of you. So much of your hard work, so much of your generous time, your questions, so many people that were part of so many committees and groups and catechists who have you know gone to different parishes or have come together and talked about things catechesis between the parishes or finance committee pastoral council our musicians being part of combined choirs and the list goes on right our stephen ministers that serve people at different parishes it's it's amazing right it's amazing how many people have been so supportive and so generous to our lord people who have given to projects at other, other churches than the one they normally go to. So in some ways it's a cause for, I guess in every way, it's a cause for, for celebration. So just a, a toast to all of you and all of your hard work and all that we've accomplished over these last few decades, really, right? And there's so many people that we could thank, so many people we could praise God for. So it's a cause for celebration. Another cause for celebration is personally why I'm drinking a beer is on July 3rd, the church always celebrates the feast day of one of our Lord's apostles, the apostle St. Thomas. And my confirmation name is actually Thomas. I took St. Thomas as my confirmation saint. And so I think we should celebrate our saints' feast days. Maybe there's one that we're named after, right? If you're named Andrew, you share a day with Andrew or Catherine, you share a day with Catherine of Siena or even your confirmation saint. And so mine is St. Thomas. And I wish there was a great story as to why I picked St. Thomas, but simply my mom suggested, what about one of the 12 apostles? And Thomas is a great one of those apostles. And I just said, well, Thomas it is. And, uh, but over the years, I've, I've really appreciated St. Thomas. I've appreciated uh, the way he followed our Lord, not always at the center of attention, but sometimes he just creeps up, you know? Of course, there's the famous scene of doubting Thomas, uh, where he says, unless I put my finger into the nail marks and my hand into his side, I won't believe that Jesus rose from the dead. But then, of course, there's the, at the Last Supper, there's a place, a time where Jesus says, I have prepared a place for you in my Father's house. Where I'm going, you do not know the way. And Thomas says to him at the Last Supper, Master, we don't know where you are going. How can we know the way? Thomas is always one to ask questions to the Lord. He's always one to kind of put forth a question and to ask him. He's not afraid of like, oh, is Jesus going to be mad at me if I, if I say something or if I kind of tell him what I'm feeling? And that's a great example. So I love St. Thomas for those reasons, but so many other reasons. Um, even when I'm trying to pray with the Gospels and I'm trying to imagine what this scene looks like, oftentimes I'll go to St. Thomas and say, Thomas, help me know what this was like. You were there. Could you show me what Jesus' facial expression was like? Or even last, last Sunday, we had Jesus raising, raising the, the woman from the, uh, or the 12-year-old girl from the dead. Of course, he wasn't there because only Peter, James, and John. But what was it like to be part of the crowd when the woman reached up and was healed of her hemorrhage? And so I appreciate my patron saint or my confirmation saint because he's helped me to know Jesus in a better way. So hopefully you have a relationship with your own confirmation saint. Also, our confirmation saints can be so beneficial for us. And then lastly, I just want to invite everybody to the St. Joseph Festival. Of course, it begins at 5 o'clock today on July 3rd and then runs all day tomorrow, the 4th of July, ending with fireworks in the evening. It's out at the Auglaise County Fairgrounds. I want to thank so many people that were so involved 
with the, uh, with the setup, with the teardown, with running booths, with gathering volunteers, dot and I's, cross and T's. It's amazing how many people are involved in the festival and how many people spend a lot of hours of time to, to pull this off. And it benefits all four of our parishes, right? Like the amount of money that's generated is just such a blessing. We can do so many incredible things uh, with the St. Joseph Festival. So I think maybe all of us should say a prayer of thanksgiving to all of those who give so much of their time, so much of their talent, so much of their treasure to the St. Joseph Festival, excuse me, that was a little burp, drinking beer, I guess I should have seen that coming. But uh, yeah, we're so, we're so grateful for everybody at the, uh, the St. Joseph Festival. So a cause for celebration this week. Of course, we thank God for the gift of our country. Always ask the Lord to help her follow Christ's call in a deeper way as we celebrate the 4th of July tomorrow. Thanks everybody who's made this merger possible. May God continue to do good work in our midst. And so cheers to all of you. May you have a very blessed 4th of July with your families. God bless. And I know some people are going to wonder, well, what kind of beer is Father drinking? And of course, it's got to be patriotic. So I'm drinking a Yingling, which is America's oldest continually used brewery. So thank God for his gift of beer. Cheers. <laughs>